Okay, let's open the box. It's very exciting. Our kids and at Science School Care love their arts and crafts and love their mythological creatures. So, yay. That will be useful. Oh, these are great. Oh, I was hoping there'd be different textures as well, which is great with this wool. Oh, I can think of quite a few things we can use for the wool by itself. Um, the sheepskin properly is what we call it. Very nice. There's a lot of that, which is lovely. I really like the 3D elements, they're really good. Gee, this felt's nice. I kind of want some of this for myself. Yeah, that's great. Might, um, just thinking with some of that felt, we might make some felt boards and we'll make some things with that. Uh, yeah, these rolls are great. Oh, and there's lovely um, different fabrics and things in them as well. So, I don't know what we call these little buttons or these tops. I like that they're different sizes and different colours. If I put out um, some of these these um, things, our kids are so creative. They'll they'll be um, making lots of different things with it, which will be great. I'll send you some pictures. I know we're looking for mythical creatures, but these could be interesting because um, our kids play a lot with nature and uh, they love um, bug houses and homes for the bugs. So we might be able to use some of those for that as well. I don't see these are cups so much anymore. They're really handy as well. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. I think one of the biggest issues with my kids is um, I'm always wanting them to build their cutting skills and um, so this will help them do that in a safe way, we'll keep an eye on that. Chill's really nice too. I think we might make, maybe make even um, a sea feature with mermaids in it because they love their little creatures, their mermaids and their fairies and their things and even the dinosaurs, they love the dinosaurs. That wouldn't be actually so bad for playing with dinosaurs, the mountains and things as well. This is lovely leather. Let's make some little um, puppets for some of this. And once again, it looks, um, there's heaps there. It's really nice. great. I can't believe I'm actually fitted into the box. It's great. And uh, one thing I really like is just all the different textures as well. Different shapes, different sizes, different textures. This cork's going to be interesting. I've already thought of something for that. We've got some shapes um, back at um, little wooden shapes that we can use with this. Thank you. Now these bottles. They look pretty interesting too. We're quite lucky we have an art room as part of our, uh, at our school care. So I can put these out um, into different spaces there and the kids can help themselves to different things. I just have to remind them to be responsible and not waste stuff because sometimes they go a bit crazy when they see stuff and why not. 
Right. Oh, there's some string down here too, so that's lovely. Uh, one of my biggest issues, um, and Super here is kind of helpful for that, is how do you glue and how do you stick stuff together and teaching kids um, different ways to do that. Um, and it's great because sometimes I'll challenge them, don't use sticky tap all the time. Is there something else that you can think of using or different ways? And they come up with some good stuff, which is great. And we've got plenty of paddle pop sticks, so that could be helpful for this as well. <laughs> so, especially my little girls, they love the shiny stuff. <laughs> they love this. Oh, I mean, these would make lovely little robots as well. Or, I don't know, I kind of like to make some little dinosaurs with shiny wings or something. Or even fairies with shiny wings. So, it's, it's so nice. Our kids are always loving rolls and, and doing different things with rolls. So these would be good. These look nice and solid. This could make some really nice um, pencil holders as well. And um, so we'll see what we do end up doing with that. Ah uh, no, these I think they're sticking on the back, so that's exciting for me. But they're still lovely pieces of rubber um, and they're very cuttable, they're not too fat. It gives a lot of cut modes into that. I can't believe how much stuff is in there. Oh, more chill. Oh, the girls are going to love it. Some of the boys too. Lovely. Yeah. Oh. Beautiful fabric. We could make some lovely puppets with that. I think um, we can make some lovely sea creatures as well, um, or even use it as a background for, for the ocean. Yeah, opened it up a bit. Yeah. Look at that. It's just, it's lovely. I think I'm going to need a few boxes. Into that. Amazing. Woo! And once again, some little circles that are different textures, different shapes, or uh, different sizes. And these cardboard ones are really lovely as well because you can put little holes in them, make wheels with them, you can also um, do beading with them, you can print on them or paint them, and then you can make a necklace with them. Or, even collage, so that's really nice. Ah. So this will be interesting. So this is um, just wire, old um, wire from Summer Flights. It's all different colours. And sometimes with our jewellery we, we make um, some different um, brooches, especially that these would be really handy for. Oh, perfect. So I'm not sure if these are wood. Yeah, they look like wood. Just the same as with all the circles. There's such a variety of different things you can use them for. I, I actually have some white, so they're quite lovely to decorate with paint. Um, or, or even drawing on them and then using them for whatever, whether you can use them for collage or jewellery making or making the cars. Perfect. Yeah. So it's, um, I don't know what they use this for. It's vinyl with a bit of um, felt at the back of it. 
and for what I think I would use it with the kids is I love making books. They make these beautiful handmade books. They have their theme and off they go. And um, so this would make a really nice book cover and a pack of this for what they have. So something I really enjoy doing. Mm -hmm. They love it. There's a whole lot more of these inside, so I won't take them all out. There's heaps of them, and like I said, they're so good. Um, I mean, there's so many different activities that I could make from this. I could just uh, we'll keep us going for a while, which is lovely. Um, our kids also too, like I said, if I put them out and the kids, um, without, even without any direction, the kids come up with really creative things and just an extension of what they're exploring at, at home and at school. So it's really lovely. Um, this is a bit of vinyl as well. It's got no um, felt backing, but you can use it for different things as well. Um, you can also cut it up. Um, to use in collage, or to make some puppets with it. I actually might make some fun hand puppets. It's going to be good. And finally, ooh, it's this creature's head. Mm. Yeah, this is great. So it's just a range of different balls that we will find many uses. They're different sizes, different um, shapes. I think I know some of these will be very desirable. The sparkly ones, there's a few sparkly ones, nice. They're different sizes. So, oh my gosh. So, I mean, so it, what I do um, is we don't prepare too much. We, we go with the flow of what the kids want to do. Um, so I'm dead thinking with this, if we'll be using this, I'm in vacation care. There's at least 20 rewards in here, so that's 20 kids that would love to come and engage with them. Um, sometimes they want more than one, but I say just use the first one first. I'll show you how you go and see what's left over. Um, but yeah, so like I said, lots of activities that you could do. And lots of different activities. Um, I like the theme of little creatures because they're so cute and they come up with some really nice things. Our kids are mad on drawing. They love drawing. They love um, painting. Um, and I try and give them with the drawing and painting lots of different um, mediums, like say water paints as well as acrylic paints. I try and give them crayons as well as felt and, and pencils um, but I can see all of this working in with that because you can build on top of that with um, putting them into our little books or, or making um, different creatures um, so that's fantastic. I, I can't believe how much is in there, it's really good. Hi, I'm Fiona. I do outside school care at Veranda State School and I've just unpacked the Fact or Fiction's Mythical Creatures um, box and I can't believe how much awesome stuff's in here. It's great. 